Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the Cowboys and LVE not, not coming to an agreement on the fifth-year option. This is serious. Cap mode time. You know how we rock and roll around here. Boom. All right, guys. So, you know, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, really. You know, the Cowboys, they really took this to the 25th hour. They were asked about it the other day, and they really said that they hadn't discussed it. Um, you know they did. <laughs> you know that these guys definitely did. It was definitely discussed with their strategy in the draft you know what i mean if you get michael parsons and then you get jabril cox in the fourth round the steal of steals you can move on from not only lve but you know uh, jalen smith jalen smith himself could be a a june cut but i don't i really don't think they'll they'll do anything with this you you still kind of need some veterans here obviously so i don't expect them to do a full-on purge here of the linebackers but you never know all right but as far as the dominoes that will fall from this now are significant. So let's talk about it. All right. So the history of LVE, the injuries, that's not going to get better. If you're an injury prone player in college, you'll be the same at the NFL. You know, it's the, it happened to uh, Sean Lee, happened to LVE. And, uh, and here we are. You know what I mean? So, all right, we're setting the stage here. So this is what's going to happen. Cowboys are not going to pick up LVE's option. All right. So now you're looking at. Your 2018 draft class, LVE is your first round pick, right? Even if he has a really good season, he's probably going to get a contract somewhere else. Cowboys will let him walk. They'll take the comp pick for him, all right? Now, what does this mean for Connor Williams, all right? Here's where the dominoes start to fall. So, you're going to save money here by not signing LVE to a big bloated contract, picking up that fifth year option. Does this now open the door to, you know, extending Connor Williams? All right. He is in a contract year this year. Okay. But he's not a first round pick. So he will be an undrafted. I mean, he will be a free agent unless they franchise tag Connor Williams. You know, now some people will be like, oh, a good riddance. Let's get rid of this guy already. But this is the Cowboys. You know what I mean? I think they really like the player. And uh, who knows? They might extend him. The other part of, of the domino that may fall here is do they think that Connor Williams could play left tackle? Okay, so they didn't pick up any premium old lineman in the draft. They got Josh Ball and, uh, you know, they have some some people from, from the previous year, Brandon Knight. Terrence Still, these kinds of guys, like they're okay. Brandon Knight, I think, is suitable. Would Connor Williams be a better option for you at left tackle than Brandon Knight? Okay, so that's a conversation there that you need to talk about. So that could happen. If that happens, you can bring him back. You know, whatever happens with Tyron Smith, I think next year you might be able to absorb releasing Tyron Smith. So they could move Connor to the left tackle. Connor McGovern slides into left guard. Okay, the other part of this is. Do they let Connor Williams walk as well? You know what I mean? Do they feel like they can get better there? If they think that Connor McGovern is ready to rock and roll there at the left at the left guard position, they'll slide him in there. Okay. But then you still have to address left tackle, or do you feel good with Brandon Knight, or do you draft something in 2022? The other domino that could fall here is, you know, what happens with Lyle Collins at right tackle? Okay. If you re-sign Connor Williams and you're having issues over here now, and this is all hypotheticals, and if you're having issues here at the right tackle position with Lyle Collins, do you then bump out Zach Martin to right tackle? You know, he has that flex. The best linemen that have played for the Cowboys have had this amazing career arc of moving around, not really staying in their original position, okay, including Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith started at the right, moved to left. Doug Free at left, ended at right. You know, uh, Larry Allen all over that line. So could the career arc for Zach Martin be that that is the plan for him, that you move him to right tackle if you have – because you can hit the ejection button on Lyle Collins if, you don't, if he's not playing up the snuff this year. And uh, he jacks around with coming in, like, you know, out of shape and this sort of thing again. That's it. You you move Zach to right tackle. McGovern goes into the right guard. You re-signed Seawill at left. The only other part here that would be remaining to kind of maybe have to keep an eye on, left tackle there. Okay, so those are the possible dominoes. Now, you were, I'm projecting very far into the future, but it's just something to keep in the back of your head as to far as what does not re-signing LVE mean? 
in the grand scheme of everything. That, that I laid it all out for you there, guys. Let me know what you guys think about not picking up LVE's fifth year option. And what do you think happens from there? You know, let me know what your comments are there on that. I'm, I'm really interested, but I laid out all the possibilities here, projecting far off into the future, obviously, but it's only a year away. So uh, still a lot of time to go, uh, but we'll see what they do here. Uh, thanks for checking out this video, guys, and thanks for rocking with me during the draft coverage. It was amazing, bro. I, I, can't, I can't say enough to all you guys. Thanks for checking everything out. Had a great time with Mike doing our uh, two-day coverage and uh, with all you guys in the chat room. So thank you very much, everybody. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.